In the world we live in now, it seems that misinformation is everywhere. And when it comes to manufactured homes, there is five things that I have got to show you that has been out on the internet that is unbelievable lies. So today we're gonna be covering those lies because I don't want you to think this if you're looking at an affordable housing option like manufactured homes. So let's just jump into it. And yes, that's a cat behind me. Marcel, say hi. He's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> I'm always on the quest to find new information when it comes to manufactured homes because there's always coming out with new legislation. Just recently, the Biden administration came out with some rulings promising that manufactured homes are going to be a lot easier to put in many locations as they work with local governments. With that being said, I was trying to find some articles on that and I happened to find this on a website called rexhomes.com. It's a blog post. He said something on here that blew my mind. First of all, it says no property taxes and a lower down payment. If you have a manufactured home, that does not mean that you don't have to pay property taxes. If your manufactured home is attached to a piece of property, you you most certainly are going to have to pay property taxes. In some areas, if it is your sole home, you would get a homestead. Here in Louisiana, if you had your manufactured home homesteaded, anything under $75,000, you wouldn't have to pay property taxes. But if the land is worth more than $75,000, yes, you're going to have to pay something in property taxes. So that kind of threw me with a red flag. Yes, you would probably need a lower down payment. If you're buying something as a resale property, that down payment is going to be determined by your lender. So you never know. If you qualify for an RD loan, you may not have to put down anything. If you qualify for a FHA, you could do 3% or 5%. It's going to depend on the lender. So yes, the down payment can be lower, but it wouldn't be any lower than if you were to buy a traditional home. It, it weighs out the same. It has to do with the, how much you're actually financing and how much lower the down payment will be. My cat is like, yeah. The second thing in this article that really burned my rear end was the fact that it said diminishing returns. However, despite saving money in one area, it shortfalls in other areas. The value of the manufactured home starts to diminish as soon as you move in. Unlike traditional homes, there's no financial longevity or return on investment inherent in the purchase, which is malarkey. Now, just like any kind of real estate, it does not matter what you're purchasing. If it's a tiny home, a modular home, a manufactured home, or a traditional stick built home, if you do not take care of the property, if it's in a terrible location, you're going to lose value on that piece of property. Now, let's just say you bought a manufactured home. You have it in a highly desirable area that has really good schools and great infrastructure. Then you're gonna be able to get equity on that piece of property. Would you have gotten a better return on investment if you built a traditional stick built home or a modular home? Most likely, yes. But in many cases, and I'm going to tell you, you can start searching through all my comment sections. They'll tell you, my dad bought one for $75,000 and he just sold it for $150,000. They do increase in value. Do they increase as much as a regular house? No, but they do increase in value. So don't look at these type of blog posts and think this is unconcrete. You always have to look at everything, including location, 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 just like anything in real estate. I know I'm stuck on this blog post, but I have to point this out too, because they start talking about modular homes. Now, modular homes are another type of a manufactured home. They're made in a manufactured plant. They're put together in sections. Those sections are assembled at the location. The thing about it is, is when they're constructed, they're constructed just as well as a traditional stick built home. And in many cases, they're built to higher building standards than a traditional stick built home. This is where the blog post starts to tick me off because they say, buyer beware. Modular homes may lack in durability of stick-built homes, but that's not a blanket statement. Many quality-minded manufacturers produce beautiful results. If you want a brand new energy-efficient home with a reasonable price tag, modular might be the way you need to go. Yeah, but here's the thing. Modular homes, and as far as purchase price are usually about the same amount of money, maybe just a scotch under traditional home building prices. Right now, they're falling right in line with traditional home building prices. So this is misinformation. When you want to talk to somebody or want to know more about modular or manufactured homes with the cost of them, you're going to have to talk to a contractor in your area that's going to be putting them together and you want to break down the price. And you're going to want to weigh those out between modular and stick built homes. You may end up spending less on a traditional built home over a modular home. It's just going to have to depend. And everybody knows there's supply chain issues right now and everything's kind of wackadoodle with prices. Now that you know that manufactured homes don't necessarily make you lose money and modular homes are pretty much just like traditional traditional stick built homes. What about investing? So a lot of people will say that, you know, manufactured homes are ridiculous and investors will never even touch them. Well, here's the best kept secret when it comes to investing. Manufactured homes 
are a gem. For an investor, they're very low to purchase. When investors buy them on a resale, they're buying them at an extremely discounted price because they're usually about five to 10 years old and need some work. And they're like, nobody was gonna want these. Well, they end up fixing them up. And do you know what they do is they rent them and they rent them in line with everything else that's in the area, which is a lot less expensive for them to even purchase a condominium or a house to renovate to rent out. Investors have been investing in manufactured homes all over the United States. There's even a very shady company that teaches people how to buy whole manufactured home parks. I won't suggest doing that, but I do have a very good friend and he's gonna to explain to you exactly how he invests in manufactured homes. So if that's something you're considering, you can invest too. He's going to be telling us exactly what he does in order to make money from manufactured homes that he's flipped. So tell us, Michael, because it's amazing and it's so cool that you are able to do this with relatively inexpensive properties, right? Realistically speaking, you can get your hands on a mobile home for roughly about three, five, maybe six, seven thousand dollars or something. Flip it, right? Just go on ahead and put on a fresh coat of paint, repair any soft spots and stuff on the floor, so on and so forth. Literally throw a couple of thousand dollars into the dog thing and you can make yourself twenty, thirty thousand dollars off of that investment. I never preach it to be like an end all be all. You know, if you want to get into real estate and you're just not there yet, um, it's a great stepping stone to go on ahead and slide off into it if you want to deal with more paperwork with real estate down the road. So Mr. Wiley, how much was your first investment in a manufactured home? The first mobile home that I ever flipped was for $2,000. At the time when I flipped it, I was literally flat broke. I did not have any money. Came across a guy with a uh, with a mobile home. He was selling it for $2,000. And so I flipped that place, borrowed, you know, a couple extra dollars stuff from my friend, just paint, you know, nothing fancy, a little, uh, some remnant carpet and stuff that I had been able to find. And it sold. I made $8,500 profit off of that. And I was about to turn my situation around. People complicate this process so much in their heads where they think they got to have this and that, got to have that. Got to have that. Some of my most successful students are just people who just got off their butt, you know, and they got out there and they did it and they flipped more mobile homes in a month than I have. So get out of that internal lie that there's so much uh, red tape and stuff uh, involved. Um, literally, people, I will tell you this in all honesty. If you have Microsoft Word at five hundred dollars you can start flipping mobile homes, okay? Here was another article I found on the internet and it was 10 advantages of manufactured homes. So I was pretty excited about this, but there was some misinformation in this as well. And I always wanna give you the facts. So one of the things they came up with, uh, and right off the bat, I was like, mm, I don't know. So it says control over the building process. It says such control over the building process allows homeowners to reap the benefits of money saving during the construction. In addition, factories can purchase massive amounts of materials, products, applying at a cheaper rate than a typical on-site builder and pass cost savings on to the homeowner. And yes, this is true, except for one thing, there's always delays in construction. And I don't care if you're building a manufactured home, a traditional home, a, it doesn't matter. You're going to have delays in construction. So if you have planned on like the date, it's gonna be March 17th and I'm moving on the house, just know it's probably gonna be April 1st <laughs> or the end of April. Cause there's always gonna be rain delays that you cannot count on. There's gonna be contractors that are supposed to show up to pour your driveway that don't show up on time. There was going to supposed to be a sewer package that was supposed to be put in and it hasn't put in yet. And then when it is put in, you still have to wait for the local county to come through and approve it. There's always delays in home building. So even though they say, you know, you control how long that the build time is, you cannot control those types of things. So always count on anything that you're building, whether it's modular, manufactured or stick built. Factor in more time than you need because everything gets delayed. Everything. Now, some more information when it came to this particular article was the fact that when they talked about the warranty. And let me read this to you. When you bought your last home and something went wrong, how difficult was it to get the contractor to come and fix it? Chances are it was a hassle and the work wasn't done in time. Manufactured homes generally have a one year warranty for construction with separate warranties for windows, sidings, faucets, appliances, you name it. Most will even provide their customers with extended warranties. Here's the thing. If you buy a brand new home in the state of Louisiana and many states, they have a new home warranty act. Here in Louisiana, 
one year your house is going to be covered bumper to bumper. The contractors come out and they fix all those problems. You make a punch list of things after you move in that need to be fixed and they come out and fix those things. There's all sorts of things that can happen. You know, like there's some loose receptacles, some lights aren't working properly. It's very typical of any type of home that they would come back and fix those things. Now I've heard nightmare stories when it comes to manufactured homes and the contractors coming back and not repairing the items that happened when it came into shipping or they didn't seal the uh, manufactured home correctly. So they always have problems with roof leaks and all sorts of things. It's very important if you're going to buy a manufactured home when you buy it brand new to look at the people actually installing the manufactured home itself. Sometimes they'll call them the builders, but they're just contractors that are putting these homes together. They're just as important as the type of manufactured home that you purchase. Because a lot of times people say, I have the worst piece of garbage manufactured home. And it's not the home's fault. It's actually the people that put the house together that caused all the problems. The home was perfectly fine. The builder screwed it up. Now, I can also tell you if you're buying a regular house, you can always have a home warranty put on your house. I use a company called Old Republic. I've been using them for years. My parents have used them. There's nothing wrong with home warranties. Some people will say, well, they're a dirt scam. Just like anything, it depends on the company. I've had pretty good luck with Old Republic. Totally not sponsored. I'm just letting you know that's a company that I have used for my personal home. Remember earlier I said that the Biden administration had come up with some new plans? So this just came off hot off the presses. And while I'm editing this, I think you need to know this. From an article from Housing Wire, it says, in September, the Biden administration also called an on state and local governments to reduce zoning and financing barriers to these kinds of housing, housing that will allow families achieve home ownership and build wealth. With renewed attention towards manufactured housing space, FHA moved this week to provide updated guidelines to its Title I loan program, making it easier to understand and use for home lenders. According to the press release published by the administration, this is the first consolidated of policies for the Title I program in almost 40 years and will remove the need for lenders to refer to more than 120 separate policy documents. This is also going to allow people to uh, accept gifts from uh, family members. So if you got a gift to help with your down payment on your manufactured home, that's going to uh, be allowed for your FHA loan when you're purchasing a manufactured home, whether it's new or used, but that's still going to be pertaining to ones that are attached to land, not ones on lease land. They haven't come out with any regulations uh, changes with that just as yet. One of the biggest lies when it comes to manufactured homes is that only poor people live in manufactured homes. And I'm going to tell you a story of exactly what happened to me when my husband and I had our house hit by a tornado. Our neighbor behind us happened to live in a manufactured home and of course the fencing and everything else was gone. When his house was destroyed, of course, of all of us being neighborly, we were helping each other get everything put back together. When I went over there and I spoke to him, I'm like, what are you going to do with your manufactured home? It doesn't look like you can live in it. He's like, no, I'm just going to have it towed off. I'm like, did you have homeowner's insurance? He said, no, I didn't. And I'm, my heart broke for him. He's like, uh, I'll just go ahead and order a new one and put it on there. He didn't seem very bothered by it. And I'm like, oh, are you sure you want to do that? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to just do that. I'm going to have somebody take it away. And I'm just going to go ahead and put another manufactured home here. I was like, oh, all right. And then come to find out a little bit later, the neighborhood that I lived in, all that land, all the way around that whole entire subdivision that belonged to him. He had, he owns like major parts of the area that I live in. He just happens to live in a manufactured home. The perception of the kind of people that supposedly live in manufactured homes needs to stop. That's one of those things I say in video after video after video. They're just homes and they're just people. There's no difference than anybody else. We all use the bathroom. So stop the insanity. Stop judging people by the type of home they live in. So what is the biggest lie that's been told to you about manufactured homes? I want to know in the comments section. To watch more videos about manufactured homes, go ahead and click like this video right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.